at you with another quick hit. We're going to get straight into it. The Pharisees, the, well, the mark of a Pharisee. Now, the Pharisees, who were the Pharisees? The Pharisees were doctors of the law. The Pharisees were doctors of the law. Right? That's what they were. They dealt with the law. And they also dealt with something called religious, religious matters as well. They dealt with the law and they also dealt with religious matters as well. Okay? That's what they dealt with. So we're going to get straight to it. And were all of them wicked? Were all of them evil? No, they weren't. But the majority of them were... The majority of them were. Not all of them. The majority. Right? So we're going to start off in Matthew 23. And when you type in... The Pharisees, right? When you type in the Pharisees on the blue letter, lexicon, it said a group of men, right? That were against the Messiah. Group of men, right? That were against the Messiah. And that um, done things for outward appearance and piety. Outward, it's an it's outward piety, right? So, really, really, this is spiritual. It was for outward piety. Outward piety. That's what, this is what they were doing for outward piety, outward works. Okay. That's what it was all for. Right. And they loved the praise of men. But it was not all the Pharisees that were wicked. Just some. Not all. Okay. We're going to go to Matthew's Bible, Kishar 23. Ren spake Yahweh Shah to the multitudes. Right. And to his disciples saying, the scribes and the Pharisees. Sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe and observe and do, do it. Why? Because it was according to the law. So just do it. Right? But do not after their works. What? For they say and do not. So what they're telling you to do is according to the law. And what did you have I say? Right? Or Paul said, hold on, hold on. Paul said, how you know how much I said I come not to Yeah yeah, if you love me, keep my commandments. So we keep the commandments. If you love me. Right? And the reasons he said, do as they say, but not as they do, because they were being hypocrites. Outwardly, they looked the part. Inwardly, we're gonna go into that later on. For they buy in verse 4, for they buy in heavy burdens and grievous to be borne and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Right? It says, For they buy in heavy burdens and grievous to be borne and lay them on men's shoulders. Key thing. Right? Men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. It says heavy burdens. Heavy, 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 heavy burdens, man. But they're not moving them. So they're telling others what to do. But they're not really doing it themselves. And that's that's something I've never really liked. If I'm gonna do something, I like to to lead first. Okay. And it says Baba Kishar, verse 5. But all their works they do to be seen of men. So, when I'm teaching as well, I try to make sure I'm not in that spirit too much where I'm doing things to be seen. The Pharisees were, they were yeah, they were well respected. That's what they crave for. They crave for respect amongst the population. Right? And it says Baba Kishore. Where was I? Where was I? And Baba Kishore. Check this out. And they bind heavy burdens of groups to be men. And it says, for all their works they do to be seen of men. They make broader phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. So it says they um, enlarge the border of their phylacteries. The phylacteries are your casings for your head. And enlarge the borders of their garments. The phylacteries are the encasings upon your head with the law. Okay. And enlarge the borders of their garments. So the reason why they were enlarge the borders of their garments. So others could see what they were doing. That's the reason why they would do it. But for outwards, people outwardly can see what they were doing. So 
it wasn't from a sincere place okay at all and it says Baba Kishore check this out but all they were to do to be seen of men and love the upper rooms at feasts and chief seats in the city they sought the validation of the world this way they sought the validation of the world this is what you have to understand they sought the validation of the world they were very worldly they, bro, they didn't care about Yahweh Shai now you had certain Pharisees that were listening to what he had to say and they accepted him but, but, but not all okay I love the uppermost rooms most rooms at feasts and chief seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets and to be called of men rabbi rabbi key thing rabbi rabbi and when you go into that word rabbi that word for rabbi is what's it what's it what's it what's it master so they wanted to be called master all right that's what they wanted to be called master in front of men rabbi rabbi all right and it says Baba Kishar, check this out, check this out. And it says Baba Kishar, check this out. Call no man your father upon earth, for one is your father. Key thing. For one is your father. And guess who that is? Yahweh. Right? Yahweh is your father. Right, I'm gonna put them curses up as well. Yahabai Shim Yahusha Abad Salak Rayam Mashapacham Abadjam to anyone that's scheming and plotting as well against the elect. You have to put them curses upon them, man. Bear me just a minute. And it says Baba Kishar, check this out. But be called not Rabbi, for one is your master, even Masha, all your brethren. Be not called no man your father upon earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be called master, for one is your master, even Masha. But he that is greatest among you, he greatest. Right, shall be your servant. That's how we're supposed to be humble. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. Right, key thing. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. But why want you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men? For ye never go in yourselves. Hold on. This is for ye never go in yourselves. So you had those, they were not going to go in as well, they were not going to get in right yourselves okay and it says baba kisha um where was i we're gonna shut off soon mm -hmm. neither suffer them that are entering to go in so you had those they were not even they were not even they were not even going to enter in themselves because they were others they were stopping from entering in but because they were not going to enter in themselves because their own wickedness so they were not going to enter in. And you got a lot of that today. People trying to hinder your walk and stop your walk and stop you from entering in to the kingdom of heaven. Ultimately, if you're of the elect, you're going to enter in anyway. Okay. And it says, Baba Kisha, Why want to use scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour while we hold on? Devour widows' houses and for pretense make a long prayer. Therefore shall you receive greater damnation. Why won't you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you can pass see and learn to make one proselyte, and when he is made, you make him two fold more child of hell than yourselves. Proselyte is newcomer, so you have those that make others two four child of themselves, of the devil. You make him even worse. Mm? This is what goes on. Okay. Two, four more child of a devil than yourselves. Okay. And it says, Baba Kishore, check this out. Um, what want you blind guides which say? Mm? Check this out. Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever swear by the gold key thing by the gold of the temple he is a debtor you fools and you blind right for whether it is greater the gold or the temple right or that sanctify the gold of whosoever so I swear by the altar it is nothing but whosoever swear by the gift that is upon it he is guilty 
thereof, key thing. Mm -hmm. And it says, Baba Kisha, ye fools and blind, for what, whether is greater, the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift. Mm -hmm. And it says, Whosoever they swear by the altar, swear by it on all things thereupon. Mm -hmm. And whosoever swear by the temple, swear by it and by him that dwelleth therein. And he just swears, swear by heaven, swear upon the throne of God. Mm -hmm. And by him that sitteth thereon, one unto you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tear of mint and anise of coming. They manipulate the scales, especially the scales of balance, judgment, and have omitted the way to your matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. Now, these are the most important things that we're supposed to be practicing judgment, mercy, and faith. It says you have omitted the way to your matters, right? And these were the way yeah, these 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 were the weightier matters of the law. Okay. Um it says Baba Kisha, we ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. So me as a man, I deal with mercy, judgment. A lot of men just say judgment. Judgment. Bro, bro. But the mercy outweighs that judgment. See, that's the mind of Yahweh Shai. But these men they didn't have that mind. They were all about one thing. And that one thing, guess what that was? Judgment. Judgment. You gotta be careful when you talk like when people talk like that, you gotta be very suspicious of those individuals. Yeah? Because we're all worthy of a certain judgment. Okay. And it says Baba Kishar, check this out. And it says Baba Kishar. Where was I? 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 One verse twenty-four. Ye blind guys which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. So these individuals, they were always complaining about small little matters. But it says, but swallow a camel. Key thing. But swallow a camel. Right? Why want you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites? For you make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within you are full of extortion and excess. So it says you make clean the outside. So you, you had those that look good on the outside, but inside, wicked. All right? But within, they are full of extortion and excess. Key thing. And excess. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what that is? Excess. Right? Over indulgence as well. These men, they didn't have balance. They didn't have the. They didn't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Okay. See what else we got. And they're full of extortion and excess. Ex what's extortion? Extortion is. Extortion. What's another word for? It? It's blackmail, right? Another word for it is blackmail. So they all had some type of dirt on each other, and they knew people as well in higher places. Right. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that that which is within the cup and the platter. So you have to cleanse that is within the cup first, right? And the platter, okay? That the outside of them may be clean also. Key thing, right? Cleanse first which, within the cup. That's that's that was within the cup. That's more important. That's what within the cup. That's what's within your mind. And it says, Baba Kisha, but within the afford of extortion, cleanse that which within the cup and the platter and the outside of them may be clean also. So, once you clean that's within the cup, the outside may be clean also. So, once you work on it, your, your inward man, you don't have to worry about your outward man because you're, you see, this is where it all starts. But the Pharisees, they were not practicing that. The Pharisees, they were not doing that. They were more concerned of how people perceive them. And when you do that, you're doing your, yourself a massive disservice as well. When you do that, and you don't want to do yourself a massive disservice. So that's what they wanna, that's what they were doing. And it says, Woe unto you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for you like white as sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward. But within a foot of dead man's bones and all uncleanness, so. They were not. They didn't even really have the wisdom of Yahweh by Isham Yahweh Shai as well. They didn't really have that wisdom, right? And it says, "Full of dead man's bones and all uncleanness." And when you go to Ezekiel thirty-seven, it talks about the valley of dry bones. Huh? 
Even so, you also outwardly appear righteous unto men. It says outwardly. So they had a they had an out for an outward form of godliness. Right? But within your full of hypocrisy and iniquity, one unto you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, because you build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchre of the righteous. So that's what was going on. And key thing. And say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we have not been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. So the Pharisees back then, they were partakers of the blood of the prophets because they were they were rising up against the prophets. So a lot of you I know some people they, they mention the Pharisees, some even don't mention the Pharisees. But this is what was going on at that time. Right? You had those that were against the Fab you had those that were against the Messiah. Yeah, at that time. And it says, and when you ask, well, who is it today? Who Bro, it's not Volcab Malone. Volcab Malone. Oh, well, he was the Pharisees that were he's just one man. He's just one man. Vol Volcab Malone is just one one man. You have many, you have many Pharisees. Pharisees were they were a whole class of people. They were a whole class. They had their own thing going. All of them, it said, when I looked up in a blue letter lexicon, it said 4,000 members or 6,000 members that were a part of that sect of the Pharisees. Right? Which were, the, they were the, um, they were religious leaders that held certain matters and traditional matters. That's what they were dealing with. So I went to that now, Baba Kisha. And we're going to shut off soon. And it says, Baba Kisha, and, and say, if it had not been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with the blood of the prophets. Wherefore, ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your fathers. It says, you serpents, you generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of? Key thing. Of. Hell. And behold, I behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them shall you kill and crucify. So the Pharisees were doing that. Kill and crucifying the, the true prophets in this time. And some of them shall you scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. Right? So it says from city to city. So you would have certain men, they couldn't they couldn't remain in the same city or same town. They would have to flee from them cities. They couldn't be in that same place. Because the scriptures do say from city to city. So when you may see certain brothers, well, why are they in that town? Because that brother may have had to flee from that town. Right? So we went to that now. We're going to shut off soon. You have to read the scriptures and get an understanding. <clears throat> now we know not all the Pharisees were wicked, but yeah, the large majority of them, they were. Because they didn't have Yahweh Shai. And the people's best interest at heart. Right? Just gonna have to see what we can find. They didn't have his best interests at heart. Okay. See what we can find, Baba Kisha. Baba Kisha. Baba Kisha. And we're gonna go to Luke 16 as well. And 14. Okay. And it says Baba Kisha, check this out. And the Pharisees also, who were covetous. So, them Pharisees, they were jealous of the Messiah. Right? They, them bad mind. The Pharisees were... and but They were not bad off. They were doing well, but... See, they had everything. They had the followers and all that, but they lacked what uh, was the Holy Spirit. They didn't have what Yahweh Shai had. But they had a load of followers. Remember, the Pharisees, this was a sect of men. Right? And could you say they were kind of juiced in? Yeah, they were juiced in. They were... You say Masons, that's what they were. Okay. And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out, check this out. And the Pharisees who were covetous heard all these things and derided him. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men. So they were also known for justifying themselves as well. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, and that's the worst thing you can do within this truth. Is justify yourself. Oh, this is why I've done this. This is why I've done that. That's the worst thing you can do. Sometimes the best thing to do is just be quiet 
and let Yahweh Shai justify you himself. Okay? And it says, Baba Kishra, But the Heavenly Father, know if your hearts for that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination. So that's why we don't want to be esteemed in this world. If you're esteemed in this world, guess what? That means you're an abomination. That which is highly esteemed in this world is an abomination unto who? The Lord. So guess what? If everybody is um, bigging you up and you're on the highest themes in this world, that means you're an abomination. Because the scriptures say that. Woe to woe when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers unto the false prophets. So if you're being spoken well of, then that's a bad sign. If everybody's speaking well of you, that's a that's a very, very bad sign. Right? You would rather be hated. Right? Than to be loved by everyone. Mm -hmm. And it says, check this out, Baba Kishore, check this out, check this out. We're going to shut off soon. And it says, for the most high, know if your heart, for that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the most high. So those that are highly esteemed, they're the ones that are abominations. And that's why I like to teach, but I don't really like to be too too out there man it's good to be out there but not too out there because then you're on you're on the verge of being like a pharisee and you don't you don't want to be in that lot of a, of a pharisee right when you're doing things just to be seen of men you got to know why you're doing what you're doing now people are going to know you anyway they're going to see hello yeah we see what you're doing but you're not you're not doing it for that reason and for that reason alone For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the Most High. So don't go out of yourself to make a name for yourself. The Pharisees, that's what they were doing. Remember, they were seeking the love of the world. And the scripture says, the love of the world in what, John? Don't you know that the love of the world is enmity of, with the Heavenly Father? For he that loveth the world is what? Is the enemy of the Heavenly Father. So if you love this world, you're making yourself an enemy of God, that we don't want to be an enemy of God at all, right? That's why we have to we have to we have to think upon these things, you know, continually, right? We have to think upon these things, right? And this is basically the marks of the Pharisees. The Pharisees, yeah, most of them were against Yahweh because they had the position to maintain in John, I think it's John eleven and forty five, right? He says, if all men were believe, if all men um. He's doing many miracles. And if he continues, all men will believe on him and shall come and take away both our place and nation. So you knowing that, you know they had a position within that kingdom. And it, because they had a position within that kingdom, that kind of threatened everything. You know, when, when Yahweh came on the place, because they were more concerned with their position. That's what they were more concerned with. Their position in, in the Roman Empire, man. What they already had set up. Rather than gain salvation, they were more concerned with rap. So basically, yeah, they did they did sell out, basically. Because that, that's what they were more concerned with. Right? And what did Yahweh says? He says, seek, seek treasures that neither moth nor rust are corrupt. That's what we're supposed to be seeking. Right? They're the things we're supposed to be seeking, right? In real time, all right? So Lord willing, uh, Lord willing this was edifying. I'm gonna shut off here, and until the next time, shout out to the hopeful elect. Shout out, shout out.